The time has come for me to talk about video games. Now, I'll be frank, I hadn't picked up a gaming controller until earlier this year. I was around when, oh, uh, what was it called? Pikman and all those silly games came on in the scene in the arcades. But I was working to get my business off the ground at the time, so my experience with them was little to none. No, it wasn't until earlier this year, when I took some time in quarantine to bond with my niece and nephew, that I discovered the magic of video games. At first, I was a bit confused. I mean, who was this raccoon fellow and why was he giving me loans with no interest rate? Did he even go to business school? How does he even make any money pulling deals like that? Is, is this a front for something else? Well, whole conspiracies and confusion aside, there's something fantastic about trudging through Hyrule. Something transformative about riding horseback through the snow-capped mountains on a mission to escape bandits. And after a week staring at my screen, I can firmly say I am in love with video games. However, my neck and my back are not. That's why today we're going to take a look at some of the most expensive, the most wild, and the most unique gaming chairs on the market. And who knows, maybe I'll find one that does it for me. The Gaming Bed. Okay, hear me out. It's Sunday, the birds are chirping, your schedule is open, and there's a game you saved last night that you want to play so bad you even dreamt about it. Why walk all the way to the living room to boot up your system and play when you could just stay in bed? That was precisely the thought of Bahute, a Japanese company specializing in gaming chairs, accessories, and beds. Yes, gaming beds are a thing, because apparently the future is now. Their website brings up the question, why do all your activities in the same place? You're eating, sleeping, gaming, and watching anime, whatever that word means. Why do all those things in separate spaces when you could do them all from the cozy confines of your bed? Bahute offers two models of their gaming bed, the cheapest of which, the standard, comes with just a gaming bed and a desk that attaches to the end of the bed, the perfect place for your monitor and system. However, it's the ultimate model that tickles my fancy. The ultimate model is essentially a gaming cocoon. On every side of you, there's something beneficial. There's a desk with monitors at your feet, and a long desk to the left of you with room for your keyboard. Beside the long desk is what Bahute refers to as your energy wagon, which is a place for snacks and and treats. Behind you is an adjustable headboard with room for more snacks or basic care items. To your right is a bureau with space to hang clothes, which you may want to use because the ultimate version comes with a gaming onesie and a pair of blue light blocking gaming glasses. Beside the bureau is a slim rack meant to hold drinks. <laughs> Can you imagine if I bought this and put my bottles of vintage champagne in there? I mean, talk about an experience. The ultimate gaming bed comes in at around $1,048 which I actually think is a pretty fair price. Who knows? I may even have to scoop one of these up to put it in one of my future gaming rooms. The Scorpion Chair. Okay, I'll admit it. I feel pretty darn cool when I play video games, but I'd feel even more cool if I had a gaming setup that looked like it belonged in an evil lair, which is precisely why I have my eye on this intense scorpion-shaped chair created by Cluvins. I mean, can't you picture yourself scuttling after Spider-Man in this thing like some sort of half human half-machine monster. Cluven's IWSK Zero Gravity eSports gaming chair and workstation is, frankly, a marvel of engineering, and something I want to get my hands on immediately. It retails for around $3,300. The chair is completely adjustable using a single controller. And when I say completely adjustable, I mean completely adjustable. The chair has six different positions you can lay in for optimal comfort depending on what you're using the chair for. If you're like me and you like laying down while you play games, then this might be the chair for you. It reclines a full 170 degrees, allowing you to get cozy in your little gaming cocoon. And to get even more cozy, you can utilize the chair's heat and massage functions as well. The rig allows you to have three 27-inch monitors, or instead, go for an ultra-wide 49-inch monitor. And I'll let you take a guess which I'd like to go with. Predator Thronos Chair. If you're looking to spend a a bit more than the Cluven's chair and get a similar but heightened experience. Look no further than the Predator's Thronos chair, which has a startling price of around $14,000. I know $14,000 may sound like a lot for a gaming chair, but hear me out on this one. I can imagine stepping into this chair is a bit like stepping onto a theme park ride. It's illuminated by LED lights of your choosing, meaning you can customize to whatever game you're playing or whatever work you're doing. Playing Super Smash Bros. Maybe 
go for some yellows and blues. Maybe playing Call of Duty. Flash some red on there and head into the battlefield. When you're ready to get into position, there are button settings on the side to get you started. No need to pull the keyboard mouse tray towards you. Everything on this chair is motorized. At the press of a button, the mouse tray and the monitors, which are on the scorpion's tail, will move towards you. Another button will lift your feet up into the air on a footrest, allowing you to comfortably recline. And did I mention that this crazy chair is anti-gravity? Because it is. The chair can recline, allowing you to feel completely weightless and completely sucked into the game you're playing, or if you must, the work you're doing. And you'll want to be reclined to look at the impressive screens on the chair. Much like the Cluven's chair, you can opt for three separate monitors, or you can go with a single ultra-wide monitor. The arch can hold up to 15 kilograms of weight, so it can handle whatever you throw at it. And perhaps you're like me, and you've gotten your tail kicked at every single game you've played, never really seeing any GGs in the chat. If you're feeling worn out, you can use the chair's massage function to get those stress knots worked on. And when you're in the throes of gaming, the chair provides you with a 4D experience due to the subwoofers that are installed in the back. A vibrating controller is one thing, but a full shaking experience at every intense moment of your game. Now that, my dear viewers, is something else entirely. Aston Martin Racing Chair. Usually gaming chairs don't come with games, but that's not the case with this next one by Aston Martin. Yes, the same Aston Martin that's made luxury cars and recently submarines and motorcycles. I suppose we ought to give them credit for spreading their 107-year-old wings and exploring different horizons. The AMR C01 Racing Simulator is the latest and possibly strangest innovation by Aston Martin. Keeping true to their brand, the simulator retails for a staggering $74,000. If you can't afford a real Aston Martin and you have a need for speed, but no racetrack or extra lives to really put the pedal to the metal, this chair may just be the next best option. The structure is said to have the chair in the exact position that the chairs in the Valkyrie supercar can be found in. The structure is made of carbon fiber and includes a wheel, pedals, and a massive monitor that puts you in the cockpit without even leaving your home. Not ones to snub other companies or ruin the desires of their clients, the simulator will allow you to drive Ferraris and several other brands of cars. The system will allow you to play with people from around the world as if you're actually in a luxury car without the worry of crashing it. That being said, there will only be 150 models built. So, if you have a need for speed, you might want to be speedy scooping up one of these. And there you have it, some of the most expensive, wild, and creative gaming chairs and beds in the world. Which one is your favorite, and which one do you think I should purchase for my new gaming room? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and maybe turn on post notifications. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury, pip-pip-da-doodly-doo.